Kids. I'm 28 and I'm from Spring, Texas. I think I'd be an amazing contestant on The Amazing Race because I'm adventurous. My friends say I'm one of the most spontaneous people they know and I love to travel. I've been all over the world and um, I can speak Spanish and convince all the taxi drivers to go to the places I want to go as fast as they can. Getting my master's degree in early education to be a child life specialist. I reside in Houston uh, with my dog Dax. And my dog Dax, his name means underpants in Irish. My brother, who recently passed away about a year and a half ago, um, named him that to, uh, to back up our heritage. And as would be determined. Uh, don't ever really have a mouth filter. And I don't easily get embarrassed. My name is Margaret Delabron and I'm 28 years old from the Woodlands, Texas. I think I'd be a great contestant for an amazing race because I definitely have the skills, the ability, and the perseverance to do a great job. Lindsay and I have been best friends since we were in third grade, and I think both of us are very strong-minded, well-powered, and definitely would do an excellent job in the next coming up season. I work for Shell Oil Company, and for fun, I love to run, work out, hang out with my friends, go to the bars. Um, basically, I, people call me Miss Socialite. I love competitive, outgoing, and definitely strong-willed. Nobody can walk on me. I know what I want, and once I want it, I will get it. <laughs> Margo and I met in Miss Stevenson's class in third grade. Miss Goody Two Shoes over here used to run and speed to the front of the line just so she could turn in her math paper first. And always, I'd be, I always made A's. <laughs> And I was still taking my test. <laughs> Least domestic person I know. Uh, but good thing I have Margo over here. <laughs> Mama Margo. That's what we we'll call her. Uh, she cook for me, um, but she's probably only seen me cook what? Like maybe once, it was like pizza and cheese sticks. <laughs> I've actually had to take pictures of my food when it was done, just so I could have proof that, that I've actually cooked. And I still don't believe her. I don't think those are her oh, pictures. Stop. Lindsay and I are good about talking our way to anything. Um, recently we went to Vegas and uh, there's a group of guys that were standing there and came up to me and asked me if I wanted a drink. I said, of course, but the only way it was going to happen is if uh, my friend got a drink here too for free. Uh, what about the time when we went to Miami and ended up on a party bus and at a party on Star Island with a $500,000 fireworks show? Not too shabby. I recently lost my brother a year and a half ago and through this I've really realized um, how short life is and um, with this uh, opportunity it's something I can't pass up. I really want to take this leap of faith and um, I know that we can win the show. I've actually overcome a couple obstacles as well. I went through a couple battles as a kid and overcame those and now I do a lot of philanthropy work and dedicate my time, myself and time to others. Um, and Lindsay was at a recent event with me this past weekend where she got this book about one of her friends that went through cancer. So I know that both of us together will do a great job as we're both good at being motivational speakers as well as helping others out and be ambitious and have the drive to do a great job. Cheers. Cheers to that. Not you. Okay, go. If you are good to Zumba, don't worry about keeping up with the steps. This is to win the amazing race. You got your bottom dollar.